Hello, my chosen family. As you guys know by now, I have started an addition, which is answering questions from you guys. Because on this channel, we honestly share so much with each other, and I don't want it to be just something that you guys watch. I really want to provide some sort of tools that you can actually apply into your own life. I honestly did not know so many people that was like suffering from mental issues and you know really need help, really need some guidance until I started this channel. It become way more clear when I interact with more people. Seems like everybody have anxiety and I personally do but it never been that extreme. A lot of questions that you guys have asked me on this channel has to do with mental health and how to deal with it. I'm not clinically depressed, but I have dealt with depressive moments throughout my whole life and I feel like that's very, very normal for everyone. I'm not a provider or a doctor, but I can tell you what has helped me. The biggest thing that helped me get through all those moments is just really have a healthy expression about what had caused me to feel sad and depressed. What I mean by that is be honest with yourself and don't run away from your problems. It would be hard to imagine that a trans woman of color like myself don't have depressive moments. I'm very, very blessed with the support system that I have, but there are so many days that I know that nobody can help me. And I'm the kind of person who, when I have something that I'm dealing with, I kind of keep it to myself too. Only recently that I start expressing it and talking about it. And I wouldn't say that this is something that I'm just gonna share with everyone and share with the world. I just share with people that I trust. It's good to have kind of quality people, selective people that you have in your life that you know would not judge you when you share with them what you're feeling, what you're going through, but actually listen to you and be your support system. I'm the kind of person, I really need someone to be blunt. Do not sugarcoat my feelings. That's really, really doesn't help me. Just rip the bandaid off really fast. I deal with that way better. And I know that like everybody is different. It's really funny because I used to be the kind of person who just would give you the blunt, cold, hard truth. But I have learned throughout so many mistakes and throughout so many failed relationships with people that you don't owe nobody your truth. That has helped me shape the way I interact with people because I have been told so many times that I come off a little bit strong and not everybody can take it and you kind of have to pick and choose the right moment to. I don't really go out there and just tell people how I feel. Unless I'm asked for, then I would give you the truth. Sometimes all you can do is just sit there and listen. Even if you feel like you're in your darkest moment, you are not alone. There are so many people out there who feel what you are feeling and just don't have the verbiage to talk about it. Depression is something that like we're not going to be able to cure but we can learn to manage it. Every negative voice that I have in my head tell me that I cannot do something that I'm not worthy. I would start out my day with telling myself that I'm worthy. I'm not going to be a hundred percent enough. I'm not going to be a hundred percent happy but I know that I can tell myself that even in my saddest day and when I feel most helpless I am still going to be okay. I also feel like people should not stigmatize the idea of mental health therapy so much. This is a topic that we can definitely extend in two or three hours conversation. Whatever you're feeling, you are not alone. Even the happiest people out there who seem like they have no problems might be going through something that we can definitely relate to. At the end of the day, you should be able to express your emotion, how you feel, when you feel it, and who you choose to share it with. I have cried up and down Fifth Avenue multiple times when I was in New York and it just kind of like a healthy expression. I just know that I have to express it. If I keep it inside, it's just really gonna bottle up and I'm gonna feel way more horrible. Yeah, I mean, not everyone chooses to express it that way. So just know where is your comfort, where is your boundaries and just express it. Okay, well, that's enough for now. Thank you so much for sending in this really, really good question. I hope that the conversation that we just share right now whoever going through a tough times right now would be able to see it and hopefully find something helpful to kind of assist them to carry on. So um, yeah. <laughs> Do I look like a guru? Like should I charge you guys like $5.99 per minute <laughs> for this conversation? <laughs> I'm just kidding.
I just finished my week. What I'm gonna do right now is um, I need to go pick up a bag and also some foundation because I ran out of it or just maybe a concealer. I have not made up my mind yet, so um, let's go. How long has it been since I kissed you? I don't wanna wait. How long has it been since you held me? I don't wanna wait How long has it been since I felt like this About anything dangerous it is. Every cell associates in there remember you and just keep offering you stuff. I'm glad that I have a list of things that I needed and I went in, got exactly that and get out. <laughs> Just when I thought that I could just go home and chill, I remembered I have to stop by Best Buy. I need to get some like new equipment for my camera and stuff and the setup. The most masculine place for me. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. Let's go. what I'm looking for so gonna have to keep searching but I hope that the videos that I have put out recently like me your standard because <laughs> I'm really trying my best I feel like I want to invest back into my channel like not just my time but like maybe the right equipment everything that make my job easier editing them and filming them I'm not the most like tech savvy person so I'm gonna need some help if anybody's watching knows a lot about video editing and recording and all of that help me out i'm calling it quit for today in the search of the perfect equipment sometimes we just have to accept some loss i hope you guys enjoy our adventures today i'm gonna see you next time Do you ever think of me too? now you're playing with the big boys only got some big toys making all your girls boil daddy's got it all sold